So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 6 of the under 21's career mode and we're kicking off this episode with a away game at the Etihad Stadium up against Manchester City and we are not having the easiest of uh, fixtures at the moment uh, because we had in the last episode we had the London derby and here we're playing Manchester City so things just don't get that much um, easier from now on but they do get off to a very good start here where Gidetti has a shot but Lierly does amazingly well to make that save. Then he does another brilliant save, so amazing double save from Lierly there. Denies them from going 1-0 up in the early stages of the game. Uh, Cabella here does do very well. I thought Rose gave away a penalty there but thankfully the referee didn't think so and didn't give a penalty to Manchester City. They then made some substitutions and them substitutions proved to be crucial because they too were the two that really applied the pressure to me. But Townsend just after half time does amazingly well to cuts back inside side and he plays some lovely shots there but a brilliant save from Lee Galli I believe their goalkeeper is called in the Manchester City goal. Uh, Friars puts a lovely ball in the box um, to see if anyone could get their head on it um, and when Friars just finally decides to take the free kick Papadopoulos does very well to get up but unfortunately that is a pretty poor header um, which then goes out for a goal quick so I was a little bit disappointed with him there but Lamella does very well here um, I think he should really score from here but a very good shot but a very good save there from the keeper there um, really Lamella should be going across goal there rather than going near post near post is OP if you are a little bit closer than that obviously you can't be shooting from any distance at the near post and hope it to go in because obviously that things don't happen like that but Friars puts the ball in the box Harry Kane does very well to get up unfortunately nothing come off that and Man City do then manage to clear the ball um, but our last attack uh, fell to Lamella and Lamella here uh, does do very well but a very good save there from Ligali once again and Ligali was true, proved to be their crucial player um, because he was all over us throughout the game uh, he was denying everything and another very good save him from him from him there I can't even speak um, and that was how the game finished it ended up 0-0 at the Manchester Stadium so things obviously it was still a very, very good result for us, and we can't be complaining if we're drawing 0-0 at the Etihad Stadium. And our next game was a very action-packed game up against West Ham United. Um, and this was a very good game in my point of view. Um, I thought we played extremely well during this game, and you'll just see... Um, now we'll see how well we played. Um, so we did get off to a good start here in the early stages. Uh, the ball gets played to Carroll. Carroll plays a lovely ball through to Harry Kane, and Harry Kane is amazingly good. I, c I can't believe how good Harry Kane is for his rating. I think he's well underrated. So if you're looking for a, a striker um, that is is very young and that has got um, some very good shots and quite quick I recommend you to get Harry Kane because he's very cheap as well you can pick him up for about a million so he's very cheap if you start on off in the championship or something but Sigerson does very well there but a beautiful save from the West Ham keeper there which he just tips onto the post and Lamella here gets fouled and this time Sigerson is in pretty much exactly the same place so can Sigerson curl this one in he's already had a practice hit the post can he go one better this time and end up firing it into the back of the net Sigurdsson all the nerves were down Sigurdsson he takes it and of course Sigurdsson can keep his core as he slots into the bottom corner and the 12th minute which puts us 1-0 up and this time the West Ham goalkeeper could get nowhere near that one with he already redeemed himself for making a beautiful save uh, from Sigurdsson's last free kick. But this one, as you see there, beautiful free kick with lots of power and it got quite a lot of curve on it as well. As you see, the keeper from the back of the keeper had no chance. He did do pretty well to get that close to it. But we do very well here. Tom Carroll cuts back inside on his left foot and he unleashes a beautiful finesse shot which hits the inside of the post in the 31st minute which ends up in the back of the net. And Tom Carroll is actually scoring some very, very good goals for me. He he, he never was scoring very often for me but throughout the last episodes last two or three episodes he's scoring some crucial goals for me and they've been pretty good goals as well uh, but Harry Kane played a lovely ball over the top to Lamella um, Lamella capitalised on a mistake made from put the uh, West Ham United goal keeper um, could not get near that one but as I was saying Lamella capitalises by a mistake by the West Ham United defender and we were happy um, to be now 3-0 up so we're 3-0 up against West Ham, so we would be sitting feasting in this episode. And we could not believe that Lamella was scoring. He was just scoring for fun throughout the whole of the episode so far. He has been our man in form um, and he's been playing amazingly well. Um, but they do go on the attack, unfortunately for us. Um, obviously, 
we attack, but we have to defend as well. Um, and they do put a lovely ball in the box here. Tom Carroll does do, uh, not Tom Carroll, Andy Carroll does very well to get up, but a good save from Lielli there um, to deny him from getting that goal, which would pulled the scoreline back a little bit. And they went on the attack once again, so they were pretty much the better team for about 20 minutes. 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after half time um, they do do very well but another very good save from Lielli there and they were pretty much pressurising us right from the very start of second half and if we wasn't careful here we could if we concede one and then you know what it's like as soon as you concede one you'll end up conceding the other and then conceding one more so that was the worst thing we wanted to do and um, they put a lovely ball in the box here and we do then manage to get the ball clear to Harry Kane and Harry Kane plays the ball to Townsend and Townsend uses speed and sprints past the West Ham United defenders and he should really be scoring from here but I'm afraid he doesn't a very very good shot but a good save there from um, the West Ham United goalkeeper Abita does do very well to catch up with the ball plays the ball back to Tom Carroll Tom Carroll plays it to Sigurdsson Sigurdsson plays it to Townsend Townsend cuts back inside on his weaker right foot uh, plays it to Rose Rose plays it to Sigurdsson and we're just playing some lovely football on the edge of the box here he plays a lovely well I shouldn't say lovely ball it was a pretty diabolically shit ball but um, Harry Kane uh, plays a little bit lucky there but comes back to Harry Kane and he fires that one hits the post and Dawkins I'm afraid um, could not miss that and he fires it into the back of the net so we were now 4-0 up against West Ham and West Ham were actually in the top 10 of the Barclays Premier League table so they were playing very well and it was just like they didn't turn up on the day and um, they did get a book in there so it was just like they just didn't turn up but here right at the very edge Jordan Abita plays a lovely ball over the top to Harry Kane Harry Kane on the volley and what a goal from Harry Kane I could not believe how good a goal that was uh, we aren't actually approaching the end of this episode but as you just watch this episode think of that amazing goal by Harry Kane so please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you next time on whatever that episode might be and I really hope you enjoyed the video as well so Harry Kane scores an absolute scorch and Nicola Lealy gets man of the match brilliant episode bye bye